Last week we measured the mass of soap. This cylinder soap, can someone tell me the mass again? Uh, Newton's second law states force equals mass times A. F represents force, M represents mass, A represents acceleration. The acceleration that we're measuring is the gravitational, and this is the formula that we use. Force equals mass times. Now I'm gonna change this A. Now sometimes you can use this. You can use a G, and this G stands for gravity. Is one ten, and gravitational on Earth is. Don't ever forget this. Nine point eight meters per second squared. Everyone say nine point eight. Nine point eight. Nine point eight meters per second square. We have the mass, which is one hundred and ten. We have gravitation. We can calculate how much force. Force is equal to mass times gravitational acceleration. What will we have to do to find the force here? Look at this formula. F equals m times g. What are we going to do with m? Multiply it by what? And what is G? Oh, uh, you guys are brilliant. Force equals 110 times 9.8. One thing about mass, we have to use kilograms rather than grams. This is in grams. It takes a thousand grams to equal one kilogram. If we have a thousand, how many zeros do you have? Right, three zeros. If we have three zeros, we have to move it three places. So if we go one, two, three, that changes to zero point one one zero kilograms kg times nine point eight meters per second. Force equals zero point one one zero kilograms. Multiply nine point eight meters per second squared. Force one point zero seven eight zero meters. Group number two. Yeah! Oh, I knew it! I knew it! You knew it! Oh, cool!